How can artificial intelligence help you pass your IELTS exam? I've been testing out the latest AI tool on the market, ChatGPT, and I'm totally blown away. I'd love to share with you how you can use it to prepare for your IELTS exam more quickly and efficiently. It's Asia. Let's get started. Wondering what ChatGPT is? Let's ask. I am ChatGPT, a large language model developed by OpenAI. I am an artificial intelligence program designed to answer questions, engage in conversations, and generate text on a wide range of topics. So, can it really help with the IELTS exam? The first thing I was curious about is if ChatGPT can provide sample answers to IELTS questions. Let's test its ability with speaking part one questions. The key is to explain what you expect from it. Offer 30 second replies to the following questions using spoken English. We don't want the answers to be too formal. And here are three common questions about reading. Are these answers any good? Let me read the first. Do you often read books? Yes, I do. Reading is one of my favorite hobbies. I enjoy getting lost in a good story, learning new things, and expanding my perspective. I try to make time for reading every day, even if it's just a few pages before bed. It feels like a response from a real person, a very articulate person, I must say. Have a look at all the phrases we could learn from here. To get lost in a story, to expand my perspective, to make time for reading a few pages before bed. It's very impressive. And in question two, it describes a book I actually have on my to-read list. The great thing about ChatGPT is that you can ask it questions about anything you don't understand. For example, in answer three, we have the phrase, avid readers. What does it mean? And you get a very detailed answer. Avid readers refers to people who have a strong passion or enthusiasm for reading. You can even ask questions about grammar. In question one, we see the expression to make time. Why is it to make time and not to make the time? Here is the answer. Both are correct. The phrase to make time means to create or find time for something even if one's schedule is busy or full. It's often used in the context of prioritizing activities or tasks that are important or enjoyable. On the other hand, to make the time implies a more specific singular time slot or instance, such as I will make the time to meet you tomorrow. Now, Let's see if ChatGPT can help us with IELTS speaking part two. Invent a two-minute story describing one particular person you would like to work with. I notice that if I simply ask, describe a person you'd like to work with, the answer is hypothetical, describing the type of person rather than a specific individual. However, if I request a story, ChatGPT will discuss a particular human being, in our case, Emily. Once upon a time, there was a woman named Emily. I would certainly change that. But otherwise, the rest of the story is quite good. It covers each bullet point in a separate paragraph and includes lots of interesting expressions. Although there isn't enough of a story, it provides useful ideas and interesting vocabulary. Let's talk about ideas. In Ayat's writing, one of the biggest challenges is finding ideas for your essay. Let's see if ChatGPT has some worthwhile suggestions. Recently, uh, there were a number of topics about introducing attacks on soft drinks with high sugar content. So give me five advantages and five disadvantages. And let's have a closer look. The first advantage is that it promotes public health. Attacks on sugary drinks can encourage people to choose healthier options and reduce their consumption of high sugar drinks. 
This can lead to a reduction in obesity, type 2 diabetes, and other health issues. That's good. It also helps to generate revenue, encourages companies to reformulate their drinks, and raises awareness. If you read through, it all makes perfect sense. And I love how each advantage has a short name followed by a brief explanation. That's exactly what we need. And the disadvantages are equally compelling. Can it actually generate a full essay on this topic? Here we could give ChatGPT directions on what to include in the essay, but I will simply ask for an essay of around 300 words on this topic. So, in the introduction, we should present the topic and the task. However, I would avoid comparing the two views as it's not relevant for this topic. Giving a clear opinion in the next sentence is good. Next, we have two paragraphs about advantages. Both are very well written and the ideas are relevant and well developed, but they are just too long. The paragraph about disadvantages is concise, and we have the topic sentence. However, there are also some potential disadvantages, so that's good. The conclusion is way too long, but we can ask ChatGPT to shorten it. Rewrite the conclusion, making it twice shorter. Here you go. Actually, this essay is 400 words long, which is over the requested limit of 300 words. It's difficult to be concise. All in all, this is not a model answer, and I would definitely change quite a few things. Still, this is a very well-written essay. If you struggle with writing or extending your ideas, you can ask ChatGPT for an example and work on improving it. You can also learn what is required of you in my courses linked in the description. It seems ChatGPT is not taking me out of business yet. Though, it is capable of one thing I absolutely love. Imagine you've written an essay or a paragraph, and you're unable to spot your own mistakes. ChatGPT correct this to standard English. Hmm. Studying at a university, not in university, whether for a bachelor's or a master's degree, commas on both sides, fulfills the dreams of many individuals, which sounds better than many individuals' dreams. The government should lower the requirements and fees to make them more accessible, not which makes them. For everyone, not for everybody. However, comma, I disagree with this statement because universities need to maintain their educational standards. It managed to pick up every mistake in this paragraph. Compare and learn. Alternatively, you can ask for a list of errors. Interestingly here, it's decided that bachelors and masters must be capitalized, which is not the case when we're talking about degrees in general. The rest is good. Remember that ChatGPT, however amazing it is, still makes mistakes. If something sounds weird, double check. For improving your English, you can use another tool from OpenAI that was specifically designed to correct English. It's called Playground. Here, you may need to play with the settings a bit. So first of all, increase the length of the output to check longer texts. And you may play with the temperature. If it's near zero, the model makes fewer changes. If you'd like to add new words and expressions, increase the temperature. And if you see that some words are repeated, increase frequency penalty to encourage the model to use paraphrasing and synonyms more often. Even though we should take its advice with a grain of salt, ChatGPT is such an amazing tool for learning English. So amazing, in fact, that quite often it reaches capacity and you have to wait to access it. I find that it's busiest when the US is awake. Uh, depending on where you live, you may wish to access it in the morning or in the evening. 
Have you tried playing with ChatGPT? If you've discovered any other cool ways to use it, please share them in the comments. And thank you so much for watching me today. Good luck with your preparation and your exam. Bye.